everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to calculate the volume of water body using arcgis so let's get started so in the table of content section you can able to visualize of a study region so we are specifically focused on a lake so it is represented as a study area which is uh, denoted here which is represented in this uh, a square shaped polygon and the dim we are using a dim file that is the srtm dim of 30 meter resolution and now let me show you our region of our interest that is of a studied region so now we can able to visualize this is of a study region so now let me turn over srtm dem so to calculate a, a volume of water body we are using uh, two data sets one is srtm dem of 30 meter resolution and landsat 8 data in that we are specifically using a uh, using band 3 and band 5 so let me add a landsat 8 data into our rgis so for that go to this option called add data and click this option add data and uh, I'm going to navigate to my Landsat data and a link will be given in the description to how to download a SRTM demo of 30 meter resolution and Landsat 8 from uh, USGS official website. So now let me add a uh, band 3 and band 5 into our RGIS. So for that going to select this band 3 and band 5 of Landsat 8 data image. So I'm going to add this two uh, bands that is band 3 and band 5 and click this option called uh, add. And now we have added our Landsat 8 data that is a band 3 and band 5 into our RGIS. So you can able to visualize it is band 3 and band 5. So specifically we have selected the study region containing a lake. So you can able to visualize, uh, visualize it. Now the next step we're going to calculate our normal normalized difference water water index so for that we're going to use our uh, raster calculator so for that you have to navigate to our arc toolbox so it is available here the arc toolbox so once you click this option called arc toolbox here so we have to navigate to a spatial analysis tool so this is our spatial analysis tool let me click this option so in that we're going to select this tool called map algebra let me click this so we're going to select this tool called raster calculator so click this option called this uh, click this tool called raster calculator so once you did that we have our raster calculator tool so now we're going to perform our normalized difference water index now let me show you the formula so now you can able to visualize the ndwy that represents the normalized difference water index the formula to calculate the ndwy is band 3 minus band 5 divided by divided by band 3 plus band 5 so now let me get back to our ArcGIS so now to calculate our NDWY we're going to use the two bands band 3 and band 5 so now let me select uh, so in math we're going to select our uh, float uh, float option so click this float so once you did that we're going to select our we're going to select band 3 minus band 5 so let me select band 3 and minus band 5 and divided by we're gonna click this option so divided by we're gonna again select this float so in that we're gonna make band 3 plus band 5 so band 3 plus band 5 so select band 3 and plus band 5 so once you did that you can select your output raster location now let me select my output raster location and now I'm gonna save this and now click uh, OK to run our raster calculator and now we can able to visualize our raster calculator has run its function so now I'm gonna turn this other layers off so now we can able to view this particular layer it is our NDWI that is normalized difference water index now let me remove our other layers So once you did that, we're going to clip out this portion of the study region. So for that, go to the search option. In that, we're going to type as clip. So now uh, click this option search. So once you did that, we're going to clip this. Uh, we're going to select this tool called clip data management. So in that we're gonna insert our NDWI. So we're gonna insert this NDWI layer and we're gonna select our output extent file that is our study area. So we're gonna select my output extent file here. So once you did that, we're gonna select this couple of options here and choose your output raster data set. 
uh, output location and click save and now click OK so now I have, we have clipped our portion of our study region I'm gonna turn this off so let me turn off the dim data too so you can now be able to visualize it now let me remove this NDWI we're gonna keep, on, uh, keep only our NDWI clip and now go to the NDWI clip layer we're gonna select uh, right click and go to the properties and in that we're gonna select our uh, symbology now let me select a color and click OK and now we can able to visualize here the water is indicated in in a, in a dark blue color it is clearly indicated here the water is clearly indicated in here and also portion of uh, the portion of the study region the water body is being indicated and now we can uh, go back to our uh, we're gonna select this option called our toolbox so in that we're gonna uh, go on to our spatial analysis tool in that we're gonna select our raster calculator it is in map algebra so now let me click raster calculator tool so now uh, we're gonna select our uh, float function here again so let me click this float and after that we're gonna click this option uh, layer called NDWI clip so once you do that we're gonna select this option called greater than or equal that is greater than or equals to 0 0.1 0 0.1 now choose your output file location so once you selected your output file location you're gonna click this option called OK and now you can able to visualize our raster calculator we have run our tool and you can able to visualize the result here the raster calculator in DWI and next uh, so in the layer of raster calculator in DWI we have two different values so here the zero represents the the non water body features and one represents the water body uh, features so now we're gonna uh, click this and we're gonna select a no color for zero so we're gonna select as a no color similarly for this one too so once you did that we're gonna click uh, OK and now uh, let me turn off this particular layer so now we can able to clearly visualize it so now we, uh, we're gonna move and move back to again to our arc toolbox and that we're gonna select uh, the conversion tools in conversion tools from raster we're gonna convert to a raster to a polygon so we're gonna select this tool called raster to polygon so a uh, tool popped up that is raster to polygon so we're gonna insert our uh, so now we're gonna convert our raster to a polygon we're gonna insert our uh, raster calculator into DWI and choose your output file location and now click save uh, and click OK to run our conversion tool from raster to a polygon click OK and now our conversion tool has run successfully converted a raster file to a polygon now we're gonna turn off this layer so now uh, we're gonna uh, check this layer that is our NDWI conversion we convert it to raster to polygon right click, uh, right click and click this option called open attribute table so in that we can uh, visualize there is uh, four different fields available FID, shape, ID and grid codes so the grid code I grid codes there is a two different numbers available here one and one grid code represents one and the second one is zero so there is two different grid codes that is one and zero so previously in our raster calculator NDWI we can able to visualize here the one represents our the one represents our water body let me turn this off so one represents our water body and zero represents our non water body features so now again going to turn this layer on so now we'll go to the attribute tables so I, what I'm going to do is we're going to dissolve all this uh, one and zeros together and uh, we're going to dissolve all the one together and similarly we can dissolve all the zeros together so for that let me close this go to this option called geoprocessing so in that we're going to select this option called dissolve so once you select it and the dissolve tool appears here so in that we're going to insert a input of a feature called so we're going to import a feature called NDWI conversion this is our polygon converted to a raster to a polygon con NDWI conversion we're going to select this file so once you did that we're going to dissolve our grid codes so for that we're going to use this uh, click this option and after that you can select your output file location 
So we're gonna enter as NDW white is all. So once you did that, we're gonna save this and we're gonna click OK to run this tool. So the dissolve tool has been completed. We're gonna close this. So this is our layer. We're gonna turn this layer off. So in that, we're gonna visualize. That is right click, go to the open attributes. So in that, we can able to visualize here. There is grid code zero and one. So one tip here represents a water body and the zero represents our non-water body areas. So for that, we're gonna select this one. So we're gonna, before that, we can turn on the editor. So in editor, we're gonna turn, start editing. We're gonna click this option called start editing. So now in that, we're gonna select this particular uh, layer that is our NDWI dissolve. So we're gonna click okay. So once you do that, so here the one represents our water bodies. So we're gonna delete our grid code zero. So we're gonna select here and uh, right click and uh, you can either use this particular option or you can select this option called delete the selected. So once you uh, did that, we're gonna close this attribute table. So now we can uh, visualize our water bodies. And go to our layers uh, here, that is our NDWI dissolve one, right click and open our attribute table. So uh, here, so now in that we're gonna add a new field called area. So we're gonna click this option and click this option called add date, add a field. So we're gonna enter the name of the field as area. And now I have entered the name of the field called area. We're gonna select the data type as double and click okay. So once you did that, so we're gonna click this option on the layer section that is in area, area section. We're gonna right click and select this option called calculate geometry and click yes. So once you did that, so we are gonna use in a projected coordinate, uh, use the coordinate system of the data sets that we are in PCS projected coordinate system. So the unit will be in square kilometers. We're gonna select the units will be in square kilometers. So once you did that, and also you can select other units of your choice. For, for now, we're gonna select to this uh, particular unit called square kilometers and click okay. And yes. So now the total area is uh, in square kilometer. That is 178.37 square kilometer. The total area of the water body it is 178.37 square kilometers. So the total area is, uh, you can able to visualize it. That is 178.37 square kilometers. So you can also confirm it to go to the statistics and check here. The total area is around 178.37 square kilometers. So now I'm going to copy this. Let me uh, copy this. So once you did that, so the next step, we're going to use our digital elevation model. That is our SRTM dam of 30 meter resolution. So now let me clip it using my study area, study area boundary. I'm going to clip using our study area boundary. So now I'm going to clip this uh, using our study area boundary here. So you're going to use the study area boundary. So to clip this uh, dem. So for that, go to the search section. So we're going to click this option called uh, we search by using clip and we're going to select this tool called uh, clip data management tools. So in that we're going to insert our SRTM dem that is our N15E076. It is a SRTM dem. So you're going to click this and we're going to select the output extent file that is our study area. And we're going to use this uh, input feature clipping geometry and maintain clipping extent. And once you did that, choose the output file location. And now I'm going to save this. So once you did that, you can click OK. And now we have clipped our portion of our study area. So now let me turn off my dim and now I can able to visualize we have clipped using our study area boundary. So once you've done that, we're going to uh, remove the unboarded layers here. So now let me remove this unboarded layers I'm going to remove this layer. And now we can able to uh, see we have a uh, NDW dissolve layer and uh, study area and our study area dim. So now let us check the projection of this uh, dim data. So right click and go to the property section. So in that we're gonna visualize the projection of this particular, it is in GCS. So it uh, spatial reference GCS WGS 1984. So datum is D uh, WGS 1984. So now click okay. And similarly, we're gonna visualize our uh, dissolve layer to NDWI dissolve right click go to the properties and that we're going to visualize its projection now so it is in uh, 
So it is in projected coordinate system of the WGS 1984 UTM zone 43 north. So now click OK. So now in search section, we're going to convert this layers to a similar projection. So for that, we're going to convert this. So for that, we're going to convert our dem to a similar projection to our NDWR layer. So NDWR layer is projection is WGS 19, that is a 1984 UTM zone 43. So we're going to convert our uh, dem to a similar projection. So search by project raster. So now enter this uh, search button and click this. So uh, once you did that, we're going to get this option called project raster data management tool. So once you click that, so now a window pop, uh, pops up. So in that we're going to insert our uh, dem uh, study area dem. So click this, we're going to insert our study area dem. And once you did that, choose the output file location. So once you did that, click save. And uh, we're going to choose your output. We're going to choose our output coordinate system. Click this. So in layers, and we're going to select this particular projection, uh, projection that is WGS 1984 UTM zone 43. So click OK. So once you did that, and now click OK. And now it's going to convert our uh, dem to a similar projection compared to our NDWI dissolve layer. And now our dem has been converted to a similar projection. So that is a layer dem projection. So I'm going to remove this layer dem. So once you did that, we're going to move on to this particular dem shape file. That is dem projection. We're going to check the projection. So that is in, uh, it is in WGS 1984 UTM zone 43. And similarly, let me check this particular NDWI dissolve layer. We're going to move to the properties. So its projection is also WGS 1984 UTM zone 43 north and click OK. And after that, we're going to go to the move on to the search section. So now to calculate the, the volume of this water body. So we're going to search, we're going to use this uh, clip tool. So enter clip and search as a clip. So select this tool called clip data management tool. So once you did that, now uh, we're going to insert our uh, insert raster will be our dem projection and output extent uh, will be our our NDWI dissolve. So once you did that, we're going to click uh, this and choose the output file location. And now click save and now click OK. So once you did that, so we're going to check this layer. We're going to turn this other other layers. And now and now we're going to remove this uh, layer. Going to remove this layer dim projection. And after that, we're going to calculate the surface volume of this water body. So for that, go to the search section. So in that, we're going to type, go to the search section and enter surface volume. And after that, click this option called search. And now click this tool called surface volume 3D analyst. So once you did that, we're going to input our, our uh, NDWI raise uh, leg dim. So that is our this particular layer. We're going to insert that. So we're going to select NDWI lake. That is our dim for our lake. And once you did that, so you can choose your output text file. I'm going to click save and choose your reference plane as a reference plane below. So once you did that, we're going to click this option called OK to calculate the volume of our lake. So now our tool has run. So here, the details are given here, the volume of lake. We can right click and open. So now here you can able to visualize the volume of lakes. And now here you can visualize the reference Z factor and area in 2D and uh, area in 3D. And the volume in, uh, and the volume is given in meter cube. So uh, we had to convert it to uh, square meters, square, so volume it is in uh, cubic meter. So we had to convert it to a uh, cubic kilometer. So in this video, I have shown you how to calculate the volume of a uh, lake using uh, ArcGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.